Hello, Aries couples. I'm sorry, Aries singles, Lord. I just did some couples, so decline that. Don't worry about that. Hello, Aries singles. <laughs> I am doing a love read for you guys. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Phoenix Rising. Um, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. This is for single Aries only. So you either have to be Aries or have singles. You have to have Aries in your birth chart. Either or, it doesn't matter. So you could be an Aries or like your sun, your moon. Your rising can be Aries. Um, take it where it goes, you know, place it where it goes for you. Um, this love read uh, will be good until the 16th. Um, if you're an Aries that's uh, already subscribed, thanks for subscribing and coming back. I did a let me turn my music down because I got I got told a couple times by some of you guys that my music is too loud. Okay. So um I did a four card spread. Your last card is your main message is single Aries. And then you have a question you can ask now. I'll flip it at the end to give you an answer. And then I did a five card spread at the bottom. It's like a little game. Usually it goes with the cards actually. It's been matching up lately for like double confirmation and stuff like that. So I'm going to jump straight into your read. Your first card, you got the Ace of Wands. It is in reverse. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Wait, let me turn all y'all cards facing. I just realized the magician. The magician is upright. The 10 is in reverse. There we go. And justice. There we go. I got y'all. I got y'all. Let's straighten up. Okay. Okay. So, now, this Ace of Wands in reverse is a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. It don't have to be. It can be. It could be in a birth chart. This is the big penis card. <laughs> This is like um, some real like sexual tension going on. This is somebody really trying to get your dignitized. This wand represents a penis for some of you guys. Okay? So, with that being said, this is being frustrated with the new start. Like I said, maybe wanting to be with this person and frustrated it's not going anywhere. Um, like I said, it's for you, a potential partner or ex. This is with someone that makes a lot of promises. Or even dealing with someone, dating someone that makes a lot of promises that they don't keep. Um, this is also dealing with uh, somebody might have just recently had an abortion. Or some with a pregnancy unwanted. This is a thrown, throw, throwing tantrums. This is... Uh, this is like being selfish. And the person that's being selfish is is causing you difficulties in your life. Like basically, this person, um, the way they carry themselves, <clears throat> being selfish, it causes you issues. This is intolerant, frustrated with new beginnings. This is uh, behaving so selfish that that is really causing you issues. That's why you got the wands. Then you got the magician. The magician, most of the time, represents Gemini energy. doesn't have to be, but for a lot of you, it is. Um, and it does have all the four elements on the card, so it could be any zodiac sign. But this is basically, um, someone feels that you're, like, charming, or you feel like someone's charming, caring, entertaining. Um, they, use, they use their personality to charm the room, so, like, they... They're very entertaining. They catch the they they grasp the room. They grab it with their attention. This is like they're a charming personality. They always have stories to tell, fun to be around. This could be you. So it's like or a potential partner or how someone feels about you. This is great at like talking. Um, but then for some of you, you're suffering from an illusion with the magician. This is they may feel like you're putting on a show, or you feel like they're putting on a show. And you're like, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at you twice with this. I don't know. You know, it's like, you got they got you second guessing. It's something about the way they carry themselves could be throwing you off. And you're like, mm, I hope you're not faking it. And then you got the Ten of Cups. This is like somebody coming in 
and that's not necessarily moving in, but living with you or visiting too much, and they turning your whole household upside down. Cups is about emotions. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Don't have to be, but this is somebody like a disruption, family issues. This is dysfunction due to someone's actions, though. It has to be an outsider, and probably not you. Someone is making things harder um, than they have to be. Things not being smooth at home. This is like emotions upside down. Due to this damn person. It could be a baby daddy, baby mama. But somebody is like really causing some shit shit to be going on in the house. Things are not um, as pleasant as they should be. And this is um, like fake it till you make it. It's like someone around you is um, acting like they're happy. But not, not, all, not all that. It's not, it's not true. It's off a show. Someone bragging, trying to make you feel bad. This is also like somebody ignoring things that need attention. Acting like an actor. Just like it looks. Yep. Crazy that's the illusion for some of you right here. And with this um this dick card upside down, it just makes me feel like you know what I'm saying? Somebody trying to give you an illusion and digmatize you. And it's not all what it seems to be. And that is like causing you an imbalance with the justice card. This is a uh, Libra energy for most of you. It don't have to be. They can have Libra in their birth chart. But, um, I mean, justice upside down is basically stuff is done It's feeling like being you're, you're being done wrong, treated wrong. Um, somebody could be showing favoritism. It's like not being biased about something. But it's like uh, karma. Like it's like feeling like you being treated unfairly, unjust. That's that's what this means. It's like an unjust feeling, lack of perspective, feeling like they doing you wrong, unfair. This is like playing favorites, and this is like no apology. Somebody might even owe you an apology, and they like I ain't finna fucking apologize. This is either wrongly, either you were wrongly accused of something, or somebody wrongly accused you. This is lack of confidence someone can be feeling. Not wanting to make a choice and not listening to good advice for someone. With justice, but it's definitely Libra. And this could be uh, someone dating a bad cop too. A bad lawyer, a crooked, something like crooked system. This could be somebody crooked as hell. They just ain't right. They could be a criminal too with this justice in reverse. For your answer to your question, single Aries, you got undetermined. Mm. You got ask like. For your first card, you got you need a fucking you need some fucking yoga in your life. Antique shit is cool. Oh, see what I'm saying? It's a fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. Remember I said you got double confirmation, man. Somebody don't want to apologize, but they need to. Apology definitely in order. Came out twice. You got, it's dark. You can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out your ass, pronto. With this card. Ooh, the illusion card. Get your head out your ass. Illusion. The illusion somebody suffering. This is the dick whip card. I'm trying to tell y'all. Ask a fucking expert. It just says somebody advice. See, y'all not. Not listening to good advice. Don't reply on your... Wait. Oh, so don't rely on your friends or internet. Listen to a damn professional. Now, I ain't no damn professional. But I can read these cards. I'm, I'm, I'm as good as it's get when it reads. So, yeah. Somebody ain't right. Dick whip illusion. Dysfunction. For somebody, not all. It don't, like I said, take it how it resonates. Full of shit. Stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Ooh, this is person. It's not you. They're not the center, though. 
don't let them um make you apologize. They see or well, if you wrong though, you wrong now. So I don't know Aries how it resonates though. So this has been your love read. It's good to the 16th of June. I am Phoenix Rising. Um, like I said, it's for a single Aries. You gotta have it in your birth chart or be an Aries to for this to apply. Um if it don't apply, let it fly. <laughs> and you guys have a good day. Love and light. I'm Phoenix Rising. Thanks, Aries Single. Bye.